The Champlain Sea During the last ice age, about 10,000 to 12,000 years ago, a large embayment of the Atlantic Ocean extended up the St. Lawrence Valley and into southern Quebec and eastern Ontario, covering 55,000 square kilometers. The great weight of glacial ice that covered Canada pressed the Earth's crust downward so that part of it was below sea level. As the ice sheet gradually thinned and melted away, the St. Lawrence and Ottawa Valleys became open to the sea and residual glacial lakes mixed with seawater and became salty. The Champlain Sea was cold initially, but studies of its invertebrate fauna indicate that its temperature rose. Its maximum depth in the center of the basin must have been about 200 meters. The kinds of fossils found in the sediments of the Champlain Sea include mollusks, snails and clams, brachiopods, isopods, barnacles, urchins, sponges and ostracods. Fish include capelin, smelt, cod, sculpin, and the three-spined stickleback. Scientists have even excavated the remains of birds, including long-tailed ducks, thick-billed murres, common eiders, and American terns. Marine mammal fossils suggest the former presence of arctic to boreal waters, with sea ice present. Harp and bearded seals bred on pack ice, ring seals bred on the shore, and harbor seals swam in the open water. Herds of walruses rested on the ice edge. Other marine mammal fossils discovered include beluga remains, a harbor porpoise, a humpback whale, a fin whale, and a bowhead whale. Terrestrial species have also been found, including a rare grizzly bear bone, an American marten, and a leopard frog. Small herds of caribou and other arctic animals lived in the area around the sea, but no solid evidence has yet been found of humans. Fossil plants have been found including fragments of wood, leaves of trees, seeds of plants, portions of marine plants, grasses, sedges, mosses, and algae. Among the trees are the sugar maple, alder, birch, and poplar. With the weight of the ice removed, the Earth's surface slowly rebounded, cutting off the supply of salt water from the St. Lawrence River around 10,000 years ago. Rainfall and runoff turned the salt water of the Champlain Sea back to fresh water, creating present-day Lake Champlain. We will now visit the Museum of Paleontology and Evolution in Montreal. Mario, what do you have there? Well, another interesting fossil, Mike. It's a, it's a toe bone belonging to a, a brown bear, but a fossil of a toe bone. This, what I'm holding in my hand actually, it's a replica of the original bone that I had found back in 2004. So it's a, a third metatarsal belonging to a brown bear dating back in the age of the Champlain Sea. So the um, the proper age is uh, approximately uh, 9,800 uh, years old. Wow. So just at the end of the Champlain Sea. Incredible. And, um, and to be able to do a carbon date, we had to destroy the shaft, the middle part of the bone. In the box here, you see the original, the original specimen, le what's left of it. So it's essentially the tips. And Amazing. one way to recognize uh, bones belonging to terrestrial mammals is that they're usually very angular. If I compare that with a bone belonging to a seal, you'd see that the, the bone is very more soft, the rounded the surfaces. Uh, when, it, when they're angular, they usually belong to uh, uh, terrestrial animals. Amazing. So what have you got in your hands oh here, Mike? Oh my goodness, look at this walrus skull. And this was found at the St. Nicola Quarry. Yep. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this thing. 
This is amazing. You know, uh, I heard that there was a man who had ordered some sand, and this was in his sand that was delivered to his house. Exactly. That's crazy. Oh, wow. And it's the uh, second only uh, walrus call from the Champagne Sea. Incredible. So, Mario, tell me about this uh, vertebrae. <laughs> Okay, so uh, like I was saying before, where do we start? <laughs> uh, well, uh, it's a, it's a um, whale vertebrae uh, belonging to an adult because you can see that uh, the, um, the discs here are completely fused. And how old is this? So it's, a, it's approximately 10,000 uh, years old. About, about uh, let's say we can round it up to 11,000 years old. My name is Alexandra and I'm in the St. Nicola Quarry collecting shells from 9,000 years ago. I found this triangle part of a brachiopod. The bottom part is more rounded. So it looks a lot different, but they're actually from the same shell. This one, I think, is a Neptune shell. And these two are snail shells I found. 